Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Um, those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us step in and talk to God, okay? So I'm seeing a fist right a fist like i'm i'm seeing it it's, uh, it's coming through as a channeling through a prophetic vision let's see what this message is about Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So there's somebody who you are, you know, thinking about dating. You know, you're thinking about investing your time in this person, your energy. You know, you're thinking about being with them here. And I see it's a neutral experience. They're also doing the same thing, you know, behind the scenes. They're thinking about the same thing. Being with you, okay? So this person, this is somebody who has a past here, as we all do as well, right? But in specific, this person's past is filthy to the extent of like they have a lot of secrets. Okay, we have the moon. This person has a lot of secrets here, things that no one really knows about yeah so something about this person's past is significant right now there's something left in their past that is not really left in their past like there's something about them that's a secret but it's not based on just who they were. It's 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 who they still are because they are still like that. Yeah, there there are people that you know are aware of this person and their temper. We have the Knight of Pentacles here reversed. Like there are people that are aware that this person has a temper problem. They 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 very. They're not patient, they're not, you know, they don't have any balance of pace and speed, the way they do things, even the way they talk, you know, they just very, you know, uh, careless, right? There's no order, there's no discipline.
So this person that you are trying to, you know, see if they're worthy to be with you or not. I don't see that it's a good idea to 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 invest in this person here. This is someone who is an abuser. This is what you don't see right now though, right? Because it's still the beginning stages, it's still the the harmony is still there, but things fade over time. You don't want to invest in the wrong person unless you're toxic and you you up for the ride, which you know you're just standing in your own way, wasting your own time, you know. So let's see here. We have the star to the world. Like this person, they, they, there's physical abuse involved here. Look at how bare these figures are, right? Um, the body is being um, emphasized to me right now. I'm being drawn to the bodies where it's like, I'm seeing battered bodies, bruised bodies, simply put, right? It's like being beat, being, being beat up. So this person's temper problem is, is not just a temper problem. Like this person snaps and they they become violent and then they black out, right? It's a it's a literal issue, a problem that they, they they deal with every day. Like it could be because of the slightest thing. A simple mundane encounter with a stranger where they bump each other accidentally could drive this person into this energy of like snapping, right? This temper problem here is 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 serious. Like this person is the type of person like I I'm seeing rope on 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 skin being 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 tightened right like on the wrist like like I'm seeing somebody being like held captive like type of energy but in their own home. It's like not by a stranger but by you know a lover this is that type of person that you're dealing with here this is a man here this is a masculine energy that i'm seeing okay this is what i'm seeing here Yeah, like weapons here, like the type of violence that I'm channeling is not just with the hands. Like there's weapons, there's these things, you know, that are used with this ace of swords energy. This person when they snap, they snap. Like they don't mind grabbing a knife, they don't mind grabbing, you know, things like a rope or a a a, a belt, especially the front metal part of it that's what I'm, I'm seeing as well like like yeah like and they just they use it on 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 you you know as the person like like i said a simple mundane encounter with a stranger where they accidentally bump into one another this person will spill a hot drink on their face like just by that like you know that could that is also a form of like a sword a weapon here like it, they just do something right they do they they do anything they 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 bring pain to 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 the other person's body in that way so this person has a hot temper problem around those that they're close to and those that love them they try to coexist because it's such a serious thing that like it affects their whole entire life. This person, it's like they cursed with with the spirit of fury. You know, this person's always mad.
Yeah, this man will be mad at a baby for just looking at him a little too long, like an infant. Like this man's fury, the the spirit of you know anger. Um, them always being mad it controls their whole entire life in this way like they have to learn to coexist with it this they have to learn to coexist so this is what you don't know here this is what you don't see coming because right now they they might seem like prince charming or the one but that's that's not like this is not someone that you, you, you want to be with here because what i'm seeing also is that when it comes to relationships this person this 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 in particular um connection What I see coming is that, you know, this hot temper plus the jealousy issues. Because in any relationship, you know, there is jealousy, you know, whether it's small, big, large, medium, like, it, it lingers, you know, it's, it's just healthy and, and unhealthy. But in this instance, this is toxic, this is poisonous here. This is someone who their jealousy because they're always in fury, like they're always mad. <sighs> like we have the sun. Yeah, this person. If you decide to go into a relationship with this person, they'll scare you. Like all of a sudden, they'll change into this monster. Someone th not the same person you you you, you dated. Like they'll literally change in front of your eyes. With the sun here you you will literally see them become a whole new different person and it'll mess with your life because then you know you invested your time and who knows you know what opportunities awaited you if you chose to not be with them You know, we be blocking our own blessings, staying in connections that aren't good for us or disagreeing with our own intuition and guts when we feel the truth already of a certain situation, but we, we want to believe otherwise. There's some jealousy that makes somebody want to take someone's life, you know. Imagine that with a, a problem of anger and, and madness. That fusion, that combination is deadly. We have the temperance reversed. Like this person, they, they, they lose every bit. They black out. Like someone blacks out here. They lose every bit of consciousness. They literally black out. This pro this problem is serious in this way. Like when they when it happens, when it hits them, and now they they fail to coexist. Now like they the real self is taking control, not the self that they the world requires them to be, and people. Like they black out, like a, a, a hit to the to to the head can make someone black out, right? It's that type of blackout where it's a, like someone literally all they see is just all they see is red, like like all they see is just like their own madness, you know? They see their own 
their own spirit that they 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 live with the spirit of fury they they this inferno mm. as i said that queen of wands like i said here there's a certain like this person they use they they grab anything within the their surroundings and they can use it as a weapon they can weaponize it they they're that violent you know what i'm saying it can be something harmless that they can use in a harmful way like they, they can transmute it in that way this person is capable of taking your life here so you know look the other way because you don't see this. Things live in people. Not everybody's problems are written in their, on their forehead. It's inside. They live with it. We all carry our own things. And there's people that carry things like this. This person in particular is like, you bite that, that apple and you, like you bite it and like, it tastes good. You don't. You're not seeing. It. You're not even looking. Let's say you're just enjoying, it and you're just eating it. And you look at it once you're done digesting it in this, uh, you know, blissful way. And then when you look at it, it's rotten. And you're like, man, it tasted good though. What the hell? Like I thought it wasn't rotten. Like, like someone here is like temptation, right? Someone here is a, you know, they've been sentenced to your life to tempt you. This is uh, the devil's agent energy. Let's tap in further to this message. thing about this person though is that they're smart like i feel like the the real temptation is it's like you may really not know or see this at all like like this person is very smart they know how to act you know they know exactly what to say or how to approach a situation. They know exactly what they're doing. Like, I'm seeing, yeah, like someone covering their face because of bruises that they can't show. You know, these, these, these um, things on their face, their scars, these black eyes like i'm seeing that like a build-up of that to the point where you know someone has to cover up like this person is, like they are people like that i don't there's, there's domestic violence you guys this is a domestic violence offender like they're they're violent yeah i keep seeing having to cover up like having to cover up Like having to pretend. Mm. So you, this person is definitely in your energy already. And this is a warning to alert you that this is not someone that you want to be with here. Someone ain't right. Someone will fuck with your whole healing journey. double the sun energy we have the sun twice here there's the person you are looking at is not who they truly are this person is a pure illusionist like you looking at them they acting a certain type of way right now they speaking to you like that right now they treating you like that right now 
but it's going to change because something lives inside of them and it's only a matter of time before it shows itself because it can't hide for long it's not meant to be hidden anything within the spirit like it just comes out that's why like there are people that you wonder like oh what happened like they were okay and then they just snap it's because they've been living with something within their spirit something that took them out the spirit it can take you out that's that's the domain of suicides and things like that where people contemplate their own death that's one of the darkest domains on earth that's one of the darkest energies on on earth this person is lying to you about who they are here beloved they're lying they're lying. They're lying. The Queen of Souls reversed. They're lying. You really might believe that this is a good person. They're not. Like someone has a serious problem here. Problems that like will destroy your life. Because like I said, this person, because of how, you are somebody that holds a divine energy. You think this is an emperor or an empress. They're not. They're not like you. They, that's the illusion here. Like someone comes off like they're an emperor or uh, an empress. They come off like they're divine masculine, divine feminine. They're not. They're not like you at all. This is an illusion. Yeah, this person is a knight. Don't fall for this illusion here. This is not real. Like, this is not real. Yeah, it's going to shock you if you get into a relationship with this person. Because all of a sudden, boom, they just become this monster. And you're going to be like, man, this can't be real. Like, this person was not like this. What the hell? That's the, when the spirit shows itself, they can be people that work at a certain job for 15 years. And because their spirit has always been in the domain of hate towards the job, they just like... They live a miserable life. Their whole entire life is miserable because of that one job. But because that's where their spirit is at, or that's what it's tied to, it just controls their identity. We have the Page of Pentacles to so the Will of Fortune reverse. This person, like, they look at you as their next, like, victim. This person has people of his past or her past that can vouch, you know, th th those are those secrets I was referring to in the beginning of the message. We established these secrets here. Like there's things this person has done to people in, in, in acts of violence that things that were covered up or things that, you know, had to go away or went away, you know, like this person is very, um, I just heard to audience psychotic, like they're a serial lover. Like, I am channeling that this person was trying to woo you good. Like, they really trying to be exactly who you want them to be. Because this person is really devoted into getting in your energy for a specific reason here. There's something they want from you. There's something they want from you. I'm channeling this movie. There was this uh, movie. Let's use this as an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example. In this movie, there was a student, a, a man, right? A young boy, right? But in this instance, he was becoming a man. He was studying um, medicine, top of his class, top top of his class, literally the, the, the A-plus student. He, he was, you know, living a life of guaranteed bright future energy a guaranteed you know success in his life in that way he was living in that 
But his big secret was that he was a, 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 a killer, right? He had all that. But what he would do is he would book young women on Tinder or what was it? Craigslist. That was Craigslist. I think that's even the name of the movie. And then he would like um, freaking um, claim he wants some form of service just to get to 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 uh, being with these people and then taking their life. Like he would just, it would be like he he's fulfilling something in his spirit when he's doing it. It just like it was like he was like, <sighs> and then he would go and and go back to normal. The spirit has been fed. There's things that live in the spirit. If you if you if your spirit is in God's hands, then it's fed by God, right? Hence, when we see we love God, they don't get it because their spirit is in a different domain. <laughs> Shit. We have, we have death to the three of cups reverse. At this time, this person is shape shifting, right? They're studying you, have been studying you, looking at what you want or studying like how best they should act to appease you good enough to enable you to fall in love with them the serial killer the serial love energy they aim to make you fall in love they they want something from you but they need to get you to fall in love with them like you need to fall in love with them first that's the, the first step you need to love them So this warning, this message here, you need to be careful. Do not fall in love with this man. Do not fall in love. We have the four of swords. Yeah, do not because this person is going to take you out. And I don't mean to a restaurant or to anything like that, Shadi. I mean take you out. Like this man is going to take you out. They want you to fall in love with them and a relationship like a relationship with them once they get what they want from you which is your life because you're dealing with someone here who the yeah they're obsessed with you firstly deeply this obsession is based on the fact that they want to break you they're obsessed with breaking you so they want to make you fall in love, break you, and then end your life. That's what they're feeding within their spirit. Like getting into a relationship with this person, you're getting into a relationship with a serial lover. That's what I mean. They kill by love, death by love energy. That's what they do. That's what feeds their spirit. This is a conflict physiological understanding of what you're dealing with. This entity, this breed inside this person. This archetype of a man is different. They're trying to feed a different beast within them. So because with all that being said, you now need to understand why this person is going to work so hard to give you exactly what you want. It's all a game to them. It's all like, oh, you, she doesn't know. She's looking at her executioner. She's looking at the one that's going to take her out. Get away from this man. Get away from this man. You don't need to see any confirmation of this happening to you for it to be in the works. Like, shit can get real. 
You don't need to see them plotting against you. Things are held within thoughts, emotions. You don't know what someone is really feeling and thinking. You think you do because that's what they say. Well, that's how they they acting. But it's all a show. Like someone's playing you. They, this man is obsessed with breaking you because you are this empress. I kept seeing it so many times. You are a woman of power. You know, like there are sorts of women that just like are powerful in their energy, maybe their mind, or they just like in their life. You know, they just have power to them. That breathe, that archetype, that kind of a woman. They just like can even be spiritual. Like someone can, you know, that type of woman that holds powerful womanhood in their energy. That's you. They're obsessed with breaking that. They love taking power and feeling it too. But the whole point of this, it's like. Step one, step two, step three. Someone is planning your death. They're planning your death. Get away from this man. Someone is so good looking. So sexy. So charming. So charismatic. So fucking dreamy. But they're a killer. They're a murderer. The foundation of this person's home, they have a problem with, they have mommy problems, right? Their foundation as a child was tempered with, so their inner child is rampage right now. That's why they can, that's why they, that's why it's a game, because, you know, the inner child is no longer a child anymore. They the spirit. Then the child is is in is is the spirit. So because they're in a child, something happened with regards to a mother figure here, and this was the this person's first experience with the hatred towards women. In this instance, this mom had power over them. That's why they're obsessed with powerful women and breaking that power they have because their mom abused the power she had over him. You know, this mother figure here. This man, you know, that's why he he's abusive you know the inner child it, it lives on in their spirit like their inner child is linked directly to their spirit because that's where their innocence is at like that's where they left their innocence behind that time of their life like this this deep hatred they developed for women consumed their whole identity to a point where you know it manifested itself in this way. Like this person has some form of sick fantasy game. They play with women. They're, they have victims. Like this one, this man has conquered hearts and broken and eliminated the people who own them. They've taken a life. We have the four of pentacles to so the two of pentacles here. This has happened before. This is a cycle repeating itself in this in this man's life. They've selected they su they've selected their target. They've they've selected their victim, and it's you. Please be mindful here. Someone's lying to you about who they are. This is not who they are. This is a warning. This man is not who you think they are. It's giving who the fuck did I marry energy. You know that um, 
TikTok that has been trending. If you don't, please Google it. That's what I just channeled prophetically. I saw a vision of the video. That woman fell in love with someone who was a pathological liar from the beginning. They even got married. Like certain things inside of people live. Lied to her and just kept living in it, in that lie. It was like a game. Like it's a whole series at this point. This woman here that spoke on it, they were fooled. Like this man came off to be everything she's ever wanted, but it was not like that. I'm seeing a prophetic vision of a, a suitcase being dragged. I'm hearing it like it's, I'm, I'm hearing the sound that's triggering that prophetic vision. Like I'm seeing somebody drag a suitcase, a heavy ass suitcase and a duffel bag. with your body in it you need to leave this man alone leave this it's not see the who the fuck did i marry tiktok series she didn't lose her life she might have lost her emotions she might have lost her heart he's not her mind but not her life as well like you don't, if you go into this, you're not gonna come out alive. Like this man is good at this. Like he's done this before. This man is good at being who you want him to be. He'll be everything, everything you seek. For however long, like, because he's that good at it. You won't see this. Look at the the blood on the on the sword here. Get away from this man. He's gonna take your life. I don't care how good his words sound, how good he smells, how good he looks, how good he's treating you. Beloved, it'll change and it'll 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 kill you. Like the, the spirit and like this man here has a deep perplex spiritual gene like he's very like this is an advanced man like he's he's advanced you know like he has a high iq so his spiritual makeup is based on his high iq like his gene like he's very like perplexed, decadently perplexed, very advanced. So to feed certain spirits, certain spirits can be fed within the moment where it's like they fully satisfied just by one thing or one situation or one encounter or one whatever, you know, one night, you know, the spirit of lust, someone can watch two porn videos and then they're good, right? They've, they've satisfied that spirit, it's quenched, that thirst. But certain people, it takes decades and years for certain quenches. Like, this is a man that falls in love with the breaking, like they fall in love with 
broken women who are broken because of their doing. They love watching the breakdown. They love watching it happen. They love watching the woman spiral out of control. They love watching the woman lose themselves in him. They love watching how the woman never becomes the same ever again. It just changes, they change. They love being the activation of the change. We have the Ace of Cups to the King of Pentacles reversed. Please, whatever things of the world that they seem to have or positions, they're not worth your, your life. They're not worth your life. Whatever these things are, th these positions here that he might seem to have or think he can provide, whoever he seems to be that, you know, like the perfect person for you, it's an illusion here. You're going through a deep spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle here because the enemy is sending someone your way who's a snake, a red apple, a black spider, someone who is here to kill and destroy, seek and, and destroy. Someone is going to end your life if you be with them. So you're dealing here with someone who their ancestry lineage, right? They have specific ancestors that walk with them that were very ahead of their time when they were on earth. Like they had bright minds, but crooked. They were crooked people with bright minds, like filthy halos energy or, you know, like someone that was brilliant and smart, but evil or wicked, or sinister or dark you know, crooked, twisted. So with the Six of Pentacles here, this person has the scrolls, like meaning like their ancestors live within them. Like this is a generational thing. I'm also seeing within your ancestry lineage, women have went through this before. They've encountered men like this before. Like, there could be women in your lineage that lost their life to a man. A man, you know, died by love, death by love. You know, they got married thinking, I'm seeing a wedding, thinking this is it for them. And then when it's behind closed doors over time, this man, you know, is their worst nightmare. It's like a curse that lingers in your, in your bloodline here. Like you need to cleanse. It's 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 not your fate. It's not your destiny to walk this path. This is a warning. Get away from this man. I mean, call to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time, and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month <clears throat> based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances as well as ancestral messages the um, oh i also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions those will be once off and not monthly you can only book me for those directly via my email which will be listed in my description box below as well as the link to my patreon if you'd rather join my patreon instead you can also join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via google Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.